Hello everyone, and in this video we are going to talk on character customization in Unity 3D. But I am not going to deep very deep, I am going to talk only on two things. First, it's blend shapes, so this feature can be used to increase and decrease size of her breast, of her nose, of her cheeks, of her bones, of your you know, belly and other stuff, and material changing, which can be used to change material of your uh, skirt, of your eyes, hair, you know, color of your hair, and that's other stuff. And I'm going to say that the model I use it in this video, it's this wonderful model of girl, which was downloaded from the site TF3DM trademark. So the package is uh, uh, yeah, very small, it's a couple of megabytes, so it has 3DS, LVO, LBWO, Max, MB, MTL, so it's material and OBG files. Actually I used uh, 3DS Max, so what I did, I opened my 3DS Max, then I imported this OBJ file, and I'm going to show you what I have done to model to make uh, you know this breast feature work in Unity. But but uh, 3ds Max is going to start, and I'm going to show you the script. Meanwhile, script is really 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 very simple. So this is our variables variable for uh, breast. Actually, it can be private, and it should be private. So and uh, this variable should be private. This okay crash wonderful. So this is actually not a used variable. Let's remove it. Uh, let's just make it private because we will never address to this value from inspector. And this is going to be also private. We're gonna remove this and let's check for errors. Well, come on, there should be no error. And uh, then uh, let's have a look at next part of the script. So this is uh, what happens every frame, every 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 single frame. So we have here skin material variable um, created in the beginning. Then we assign whole array of materials to this skin material variable. Then, if scored equals one, we change the first. Uh, sale of this array to our uh, material number one which is a uh, white skirt if skirt equals two we change the first seal of our array to skirt number two ma materials material which is red and then we assign we assign uh, you know this skin material which is actually a temporary temporary uh, holder to our get component skin mesh renderer and all this construction. So this is actual a construction which is working for our materials uh, array for our actual model. And this is uh, about blend shapes. So uh, this variable is controlling uh, the blend shape mm, variable exactly. So, uh, and this is an uh, on GUI function, so, so, so it's working real time. And here is a, a GUI horizontal slider for breast, which is, uh, can be from 0 to one, 100. And here we go. Uh, so, this is a slider, right? And actually, uh, there is a blend shape here, which is also can be from 0 to 100 but you know the strange part is that it doesn't c 
clamp after 100 so it can be now you know like 116 so I created this um, this clamp because uh, this variable breast breast bar breast it was not private so now it's private so I don't need this anymore and also I don't need this anymore too so actually I can just remove those values but in case if I will work with float uh, in, a, in a public mode so I will need this and actually actually that's all I can save this and let's have a look at our 3ds max so let's import our model and I will show you how to create blend shapes so import let's have a look at our model girl control V enter and I import I imported this model so that I import it will say that okay there is no model I mean there is no material I add search path but for some reason you know there are so many errors about missing map I just skip everything and there will be um, materials assigned anyway anyway so what I did then I just rotated my model like you know minus 90 degrees and I went to pivot point and I uh, make you know zero 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 so that's how it does work then I started to work with my mm, blend shapes so I went to right mode here and I take my model and I hold shift and drag it out so and this is going to be like pressed and I hide this model because it will not use it in this video I mean in this case hide selection I go to this model go to editable mesh select uh, vertices and I'm going to increase size of her breast in this area so this is going to be a natural process so I'm going to do this <coughs> so this is n so I'm not going to to distort many vertices so it's going to be natural process let's make it smoother like this okay so let's just make it oop, please don't crash 3ds max actually you can use soft selection but I prefer this because it's you know faster I'm not going to dig into process of you know very cool um, increasing it's just a basic basic one okay that's enough I guess there are some distortions but it's okay hey, it's good so then we unhide all and we just assign this mm, mm, modifier morpher here we go morpher and we will pick our morph target here we go now we can remove this delete and we can actually export so that, you know this is how I did it I just exported it into my unity project so the unity file related uh, unity three assets I'm going to select another folder just one so just do not mix them together because so the materials will be messed up for some reason so uh, to remove enter and I will paste it here and you will see how materials will be you know screwed <coughs> actually I'm not sure maybe there will be not screwed oh it's game window so actually I increase size of model you know 100 times bigger Okay, so it's n so now it's not screwed for some reason, but uh, when I imported it, you know, 
for the first time it was screwed so now actually we can do following stuff so we just copy transform and we paste okay so now it's all separate right position rotation oh great right great great let's just try again okay so I understand now I, I, I understand so I change it everything and I should just copy mm, a position and paste position okay let's just move here in the same position and we'll just <coughs> copy this script copy and paste it into here so where is it character customization paste values now this is the same process so you can see here but <laughs> there is some kind of distortion over here so I think it will be much better to use my old model old one because old model looks better more natural uh, still there is some kind of very strange distortion so we, we just work hardly to make it you know smoother yeah that's all about this video <coughs> actually that uh, that's not all yet so uh, how to apply materials properly so you will import this model into unity and there will be all opaque you and uh, legacy shaders so you have to assign standard and play with this rendering mode um, property so in, in some so in, uh, for hair for hair I use fade and for eyelashes uh, there's something about eyelashes I use cut out so they you know the different so for instance if I use fade you can see that you know uh, there's a distortion over here so more details right more details but there's a distortion over here so I prefer you know this one so this distortion is less visible but you know it's your choice it's your choice also a transparency a property is this one actually you can see here so this one so why I, I should better select that out looks nice right so once again the model I use it in this video is you know this one so just you know feel different this is how it looks in in 3ds max you know really you know poor appearance this is how it looks in Unity 5, just great, right? This is, you know, just much better. You know, I uh, you know the all this, you know, um, uh, reflections and you know and all that stuff. So, yeah, guys. So thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. And have a good time. See you later in the in the next video of something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. Bye.